Hi children, welcome to today's science class. You all know that we are learning the different organ systems of our body. So far we learnt about the skeletal system, digestive system, respiratory and even we discussed about the circulatory system and the excretory system. No children, by now you all know the main organ of this each system and also their important function. Today's class we are going to learn about the another system of our body. But before that just let us write the names of the systems what we have learned so far. We learnt about digestive system no children and what is the main function of this system? It helps to digest the food and we learnt about the respiratory system. What is the function of this main function of this system children? It helps us to breathe in air and use the oxygen. Then we learned about the circulatory system in the previous class. Circulatory system, the main organ is the, the major organ is the heart and the, this system transfers the blood to the all the parts of the body. Then we learned about the urinary system which helps us to excrete the urine from our body. And also we discussed about the skeletal system which gives support to our body and also helps us to move bones and the different bones and the joints. So all these systems by now you all know. Do you know children there is one system which can control all these systems and there are so many other systems also in our body. Yes, so you will be surprised, no? So there is one system which can control all these systems. For example, now you are seeing the picture. So the seeing, which organ helps you to see the eye? But the eye is connected to the one organ which can control all the activities of our body. You are, you, something your mother gave you to eat. You want to eat it. Even that activity is controlled by that organ. You want to run. Even that is controlled by, your, by that organ. Each and every activity, whatever we do. Your, your beautiful flower you saw. You want to smell it. What, how the fragrance is. Even... One of the organ is there, nose will help you to smell, but one organ is there which can control that also. Very good children. So all the activities, whatever we do, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, running and also thinking. So when I say that you start thinking something, thinking. So like the different activities, almost all the activities what we do in our using our body is controlled by one organ. Yes, you all are right children. That is the brain and do you know which system the brain belongs to the brain belongs to the nervous system of our body so now i just now we saw that brain can control the all the activities for example if it is skeletal system running skeletal system will help you to run but the running also is coordinated and also the commands and all we get from the brain only to run or to walk yes and if you take the digestive system, eating, tasting, eat, uh, this, uh, digestion of food is also under the control of this uh, organ, brain and its system. And even the respiration, breathing is also under the control of the brain and the system it belongs to. Even the pumping of the blood, even the excretion. So all the systems are controlled by one system that is the nervous system. That's what today we are going to learn. So all the system... All the system we discussed is controlled by the nervous system. That is why this system is called as master of all other systems of our body. So this system is called as the master because this system only controls and coordinates the functions of the you by now you all know that each system is having one particular function to perform so that is also coordinated and controlled by this nervous system that's why it is called as the master of all other systems so now we will see what are the main organs of the nervous system so nervous system brain as we just now we said brain is the plays a major role and there is a there is a cord called spinal cord, bundle of nerves it will be and also the nerves. Yes, so these three parts, brain, spinal cord and nerves, they are connected to each other and they belong to the system called nervous system. What do they do? What is their function? Yes, well, how we are saying that they are able to 
control and coordinate the other systems of the body yes see as the picture you are, as you see in the picture the brain is connected they are all these are connected brain where is the brain children whenever we say where is your brain? where you can touch and show very good brain is inside our hard skull inside the skull brain is very well placed because it has to get it should be kept under protection that's why it is under the skull and the spinal cord no children you can see in the picture the spinal cord is a bundle of nerves that is in the backbone we have the backbone no children the backbone vertebral column so there we have the spinal cord bundle of nerves and also the nerves passing connected to all the just now i said you are seeing see from the brain nerves are connected to the eye optical nerves and these nerves only takes the message to the signals to the brain and the brain will give the command or the messages to see see so these nerves all even you are walking you got you are hurt so immediately you feel the pain that is also the signals are sent to the brain and brain is sending back the command or message even you are you are near the uh near your dust is you are stuck playing at all immediately there is some dust you suddenly you close your eyes you know so that is also everything whatever we do whatever activities you are carrying something you are running uh, anything you want to do that activities are controlled by the brain and the brain is the belongs to the system called the nervous system brain alone can't do that yes no one system cannot perform a one organ cannot perform this Uh, such a complicated work so it has spinal cord and nerves connected as you see in the picture and they will only all the time they will be sending the signals and get back the messages and again to and fro they will be bringing the message to the brain and the brain only gives the commands accordingly each and every organ acts so the nervous system consists of brain spinal cord and the brain so brain where is it placed in it brain is placed inside the skull and where we can find the spinal cord spinal cord is the nothing but a bundle of nerves what is spinal cord bundle see have you seen the wires all coiled together wires all be coiled together like a bundle like that all these nerves are bundled the spinal cord so that's a that is in the in the vertebral column in the backbone part of our body we have this spinal cord so in the backbone backbone it is enclosed inside the backbone then the what are these nerves nerves are thin thread like are the thin what are nerves nerves thin threads bring messages to and from the brain from the brain and also to the brain from the other organs this work will be done by brain spinal cord nerves so one two three these three organs to work together makes the nervous system you can see in the picture shown how they are connected because you know that in a system all the organs are connected and they will do a particular function here what is the main function they will control and coordinate the functions of the all the system so what is the function of this nervous system children controlling control and coordinate means they plan and what to do everything the instructions are the commands coordinates the functions of all the systems whatever systems we have learned so far all the systems are getting they get the command from which system nervous system which organ is giving the command the brain is the organ which gives the command so that is what very important thing about the nervous system when you go to higher classes you will learn in detail about the different parts of the brain and how we are getting the messages even so many interesting factors about this nervous system children by now as i told you in the previous classes also you should know the main function of the particular system what we are learning main function and also the organs which are connected which are in present in that system yes we we'll just will take one simple activity and we will see how the the system functions yes children now you are you you want to see you are seeing something so your eye helps you to see a a flower is there you want to smell and also you want to see the beautiful flower you are see so this is a simple action no children see is a simple action 
how are we able to perform this which organ is helping you you will say immediately i i am able to see it but as soon as the picture is in front of you the image is in front of you the i will send the messages sorry signals to the brain yes the i will send the signal to the brain and again the brain will send back the command or the messages to the eye to see so first the eye has to send the signal and brain has to send back the command or the signals that is how you are able to see like seeing thinking you are thinking something you are able to uh, store so many things in your mind that is also due to the brain and which system nervous system see how important is our nervous system so nervous system even not only thinking see uh, hearing you want to hear something that here you also the eye the ears are connected to there are some nerves called the auditory nerves so they are connected to the brain so the brain will first the ear will send the signals then again the brain will send the command or message command also you can say or it will send the message or it so this command message the signal all these term who will carry this the nerves will carry the nerves are the thin thread like structures they will be carrying this and so we are able to do the different types of activities so in this no completely if you take brain is also we can we can call the brain as the master of all the organs because it is controlling the all the activities of our body you want to eat even the digestive system is has to get the commands from the brain and then only digestion can take place respiratory system even breathing the commands should come from the brain and then only that is also possible like each and every system what we are discussed that without getting the sending the signals and getting back the commands the work will not be completed and who carries this to the brain the nerves the nerves are like thin threads they will be running completely throughout our body and they will carry the messages so now by now we learn so many systems and you all know the main function also let us see what is given in your textbook related to this system children hope you can be able to answer on your own please take out page number page number 13 you please write the date and you see the first picture children first question label the label the brain spinal cord and nerves as for we are discussing children page 13 in your textbook whenever you do you please write the date Uh, write the date children on which day we are doing so first question you have to label so where will you label the brain where will be our brain located very good inside the skull so near the skull part you will label you in sorry inside the skull you have the brain so skull is in the skeletal system right now they are asking the spinal cord so which is the spinal cord here can you see like that or like the backbone there is one a uh, thick thick cord like thing yes that is the spinal cord where it is enclosed in the backbone and then they are asking you to label the nerves nerves you can find thin thread like thing throughout the body they have given anywhere you can keep the arrow and you can write the brain spinal cord and the nerves children second question reka sees an old friend of hers some distance away from her she runs to meet her explain the role of nervous system to recognize her friend so in this see three things are done first one is seeing and she is running and also she is recognizing thinking so all these activities thinking seeing running who is which system uh, is coordinating very good and controlling nervous system so can you can we write the answer now how can we answer this reka see the old friend of hers from this she runs explain the role of nervous system to recognize her friend rekas reka is able to see her friend see her friend as the eyes send the <coughs> signals to the brain and the brain and the brain gives command 
back to eyes. Yes, so we can see three different activities here is taking place. One is first seeing, then she is running. Two things at least, the thinking already you know that it is because of the brain only. So Reka is able to see her friend as the eye sends the signals to the brain and the brain gives command back to the eyes. So second part is she is running. So which, how it is, uh, how it is possible for her to run? Now, uh, which organ should send the signal to the uh, brain, legs? Legs should, her muscles are, legs should send the message, signal to the brain and again brain should send the command to the legs so that only she is able to run. Yes, so shall we write that part also now? So as you can't see down, I am writing, I am rubbing the first question answer and second, first bit you can keep like this A. Second bit of B question, Reka is able to run near her friend as her legs sends the signals to the brain and gets back the command from the brain to run. Yes, even thinking also you can add a B point. Even she is able to think and recollect with the help of the memory as it is stored in her memory. This only, first she is able to think and recognize. That's how she is able to do that. That part you can do on your own, in your own words you can write. Third question. Suhani met with an accident and suffered an injury to the brain. Will there be any effect on the other organ systems? Why or why not? See how uh, very important question. Somebody is getting, one girl called Suhani got hurt in her brain. Will it going to be affect the other systems children? Yes. Why? Because brain is the, brain only controls all the activities. So definitely there will be effect in the other systems also. So first part of the question, will there be any effect on the other systems? Yes. Yes, other systems, other organ systems <coughs> will be affected if the brain gets any injury. Why? Because the brain controls all the activities of our body. So even this one, there is no necessity that you have to write the same way. What is your understanding? You know that in the class how we will do the workbook. Now you are not coming to school, that's why we are helping this much. So what is taught and later you read the textbook textbook page number you can open you, you know by now you all know that what we are doing so you read the this part and then you when you are glossary you have a clear explanation about the various new terms and then try to write the answers on your own so by now we have completed the organ systems of our body many systems we learn so at least you should know the names properly and the organs with proper spelling and also very important is the main function of the each and every system what we discussed so far. So learn and be ready for the next class children. Thank you children.